Hi everyone. Today I have a new video on the topic of Exist for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you or talk about rather the different types of display options available on the Exist and what is the information included in the different types of display. Uh, towards the end of the video, I'll also show you how to go into the address and choose the display required and give you some essential information about the display which will help you answer uh, oral examinations uh, questions uh, when you go for your exams. All right, so let's get started. So we all know that EGDIS is actually a very dynamic navigational system which is designed to improve the safety and efficiency of navigation. Now, EGDIS integrates various navigational information from other equipments that includes chart information, position information from the GPS uh, derived through the sensors and equipments on board, and it provides display of the navigational details. Now, the system also provides audiovisual alarms while approaching dangers or malfunctioning of equipment. Now, the various information provided by the system is made available to the users through the displays and there are three categories of displays available on the display of the EGDIS. The three categories are display base, standard display and display on request or we say display base, standard display and all other information. So let's see what information is displayed in each of this or rather what information is included in each of this display, right? And then I, like I said, towards the end of it, We'll also go and look into how to go into the EGDIS and find or select the required display. All right, and I'll also give you some important information about each display, which will help you for your oral examinations. Now let's start with the base display. All right, so the display base is to be permanently shown on the EGDIS. This is the base display. As soon as you switch on the EGDIS, this is the display that should be there. This is the minimum set of information which must always be displayed and it cannot be removed. It may be very helpful to use this display for the initial appraisal in the planning stage and moving the chart display to allow a faster regeneration of the display. However, you cannot use base display for navigation. You may use it initial for initial planning purposes or passage planning, but you cannot use it for navigation because it essentially misses out on a lot of important information. So the display base will show you the coastline, the own ship's safety contour, isolated underwater dangers of depths less than the safety contour, which lie within the safe waters defined by the safety contour, Isolated dangers which lie within the safe water defined by the safety contours such as fixed structures, overhead wires, etc. Scale, range and north arrow, units of depth and height and display mode. When I'll discuss what else is displayed in the standard display and all other information, you will realize that the display base misses out on a lot of information which may be required or rather which is required for the safe navigation of the vessel. We now move on to the standard display and standard display includes everything that is included in the display base or the base display. All right. So everything in the base display is anyway included in the standard display. Apart from that, it also shows the drawing lines, the buoys, beacons, other aids to navigation, fixed structures, then boundaries of fairways, channels, visual and radar conspicuous features, prohibited and restricted areas chart scale boundaries, then indication of cautionary notes, ships routing systems and ferry routes, as well as archipelagic sea lanes. Now remember, it is the standard display that comes under the performance standards. So what does that mean? That means that with the one click of a button, only with one click of a button, you should be able to select the standard display on EGDIS. All right, so that is the performance standard, only with one click of a button. So sounding features are of course not given in standard display, but that does not necessarily display all the chart objects which are necessary for safe navigation under all circumstances. For that, you may have to go into additional information. You may have to select some information. And information contained in blaze display 
plus most of the information required for safe navigation is what comprises of the standard display all right now let's go to all other information display now all other information display is to be displayed individually on demand by the user it is selected by the user so the user needs to understand the requirements of layer selection now displaying everything is not a seamanship quality if you display everything without consideration then the chart will become cluttered there will be too much of information if there is too much of information that is also not good for safe navigation because then you will overlook the important information so all other information includes spot soundings submarine cables and pipelines details of isolated dangers details of aids to navigation contents of cautionary notes electronic navigation chart edition dates most recent chart update numbers magnetic variation graticule and place names so you can see now and i'll show you the difference of the information that is displayed on your egdis screen when you choose each of the display now this is the display base the first display that we talked about and here you can see how the display base shows you the basic the basic information and uh, this is quite useful i have found when you are initially laying out the passages because it is not cluttered you get a clearer picture you can lay down your courses here when i show you guys how to do the route planning and route monitoring and passage planning on egdis you will realize that this is a good display for that all right so display base you cannot remove all this information from the display base which is displayed here all right so it consists of information which is required at all times in geographical areas and all circumstances and it is not intended for any kind of safe navigation this is just the basic display now let's compare the display base with the standard display or all other information so you can see in all other information there is a lot of information display now there is nothing wrong with that this is you can see here this is a narrow channel area and sometimes you need all the information but what you can also see that uh, it becomes a bit cluttered to my taste at least all right so if it becomes cluttered then you might miss out on essential information or there is so much clutter there is so much information going on here that uh, there might be too many alarms ringing in it will distract you from your main duties of uh, monitoring the passage so you can see here again the display base is shown right and uh, uh, some people incorrectly assume that uh, the display base and the standard base ought to contain a level of information uh, that is similar to that of paper chart that's not true all right so and there are some again mariners that are not capable of knowing what is important chart information so therefore both these perceptions were implemented into the iho color and symbol specifications all right so one example is the mandatory inclusion of fixed and floating aids to navigation in the base display all right now the imo performance standards for egdis specifies that fixed and floating aids to navigation be part of the standard display the iho colors and symbol presentation library includes fixed and floating aids as part of the base display all right now the justification given for this decision by the iho colors and symbol working group was that the wording contained in the performance standards indicates that buoys and beacons should be considered isolated dangers which lie within the safe water now while many mariners consider this to be an illogical argument this implementation means that aids to navigation are always shown regardless whether the mariner wishes to see them or not so at a small scale display often used for route planning this can lead to a very cluttered display where the boy symbols may obscure a channel also when operating with radars or arpas in confined waters there are often times during route monitoring when it is critical to be able to quickly decide which targets are and are not aids to navigation the fact that the colors used for radar targets and some boys are both green can lead to further problems of misinterpretation now these days of course people are sailing some people are sailing on big ships with massive beams that point of time you as the mariner 
have to decide you have to realize you have to decide what is important for you to be displayed on the egg disk screen what is the information that you need all right so therefore there is a great potential of egg disk to improve the safety and efficiency of navigation by presentation on the screen not only the electronic navigation chart but also the additional set of information however what is this essential set of information is depending on you as the mariner your discretion your decision and your prudence so you, it is up to you and the situation that you are right in, in with your vessel that will lead you to decide so we have the base display which is the basic display you cannot remove info information then you have the standard display that you should be able to achieve with just one click of a button and then you have the all additional information any additional information that you may select as the user based on your use and now i will show you how you can go into the egg disk and select the base display or standard display rather with one click of a button and what are your other information options available to you so keep watching and we'll see you uh, now before i show you where to go into egg disk and this you select the information uh, the video that i recorded it's a bit fast and you will not be able to see it uh, very well so i thought i will show you the screen here so in the ectis uh, model that we have here uh, the transas ectis model uh, you can go into chart and you go and go into themes and when you go into chart and you go into themes you can see here how uh, there are many information there is many information displayed here however at the top you can see there is a button called standard you can see there is an uh, sent there is a word called standard written there and that is where if you click that button or you click that box there with one click of a button you can get the standard display all right so that is the performance standard for standard display with one click of a button you should be able to get the standard display the other information some of it is of course included in the base display and some of it you choose in any all all other information displayed right but with standard display you will have all that we listed in the standard display earlier but you can achieve it with one click of information because uh, that is good for your uh, safe navigation your base display is not good for safe navigation because it contains only minimal information and any additional or all other information uh, display may clutter the screen that is of course up to you as a user what you select out of the ones that you see here listed but standard display can be obtained with just one click of a button if you click at standard you will get that all right i'll show you the video as well but it's uh, it's been shot in a rush so i don't think you would have got enough time to be able to see this and i wouldn't have been able to discuss this uh, in leisure but uh, watch and see how you go with that so guys i don't know how uh, well you will be able to see in this video but initially i show you how to go into the egdis uh, database and select the appropriate database i'll talk about this later but if you want to select the display you go into chart and you will see i will go into view rather view and themes not chart and themes or view and themes and here you can see how there is one click standard button of display shown here and all the other information that was displayed here and this is of course a scamming function we've discussed this in a separate video but because this was shot in a rush and i don't spend enough time on that screen i thought i'll show it to you separately from the slide that i discussed earlier so you can see how you can go into view themes and then go into the appropriate display and select the standard display with one click of a button thanks guys